Hydrogen bonding is very important in the alcohol functional group because it has the elements both of the electron donor and the electron acceptor in hydrogen bonds. What we call a hydrogen bond is an N to sigma star orbital interaction between a lone pair on oxygen, nitrogen, or fluorine and an XH bond where X is one of these atoms, oxygen, nitrogen, or fluorine. And if this N to sigma star nomenclature looks a little bit cryptic, go back and check out my videos on natural bond theory and orbital interactions for a review of these. Hydrogen bonding is important in an alcohol context because they can serve as both what we call donors and acceptors, and these definitions are a little bit odd because they're backwards of what we would expect based on electron donation or acceptance. We'll see that in a little bit on this slide. Through their hydroxyl group, so the hydroxyl group is very special as both what we call a hydrogen bond donor, it's got an OH bond, and a hydrogen bond acceptor. It's got lone pairs that can accept hydrogen bonds from other XH containing function. When an alcohol acts as a hydrogen bond acceptor, an XH functional group in another molecule approaches the hydroxyl oxygen and there's a donation of electrons from the hydroxyl oxygen to the XH bond. Note the partial charges here. There's a partial negative charge on this oxygen and a partial positive charge on this hydrogen. So there is an electrostatic element to hydrogen bonds as well. And here, the alcohol is referred to as a hydrogen bond acceptor since it's accepting the XH bond, quote unquote. If we look at the shapes of the orbitals involved, we can see that the electron donor orbital is a non-bonding lone pair orbital on the oxygen. This one looks like a hybrid. And the electron accepting orbital is the sigma star orbital of the, in this case, hydrogen oxygen bond with that larger lobe associated with the hydrogen pointed toward the oxygen atom. So hydrogen bonds are directional, right? And what we're looking at here is a hydrogen bond between two molecules of allyl alcohol. The hydroxyl group in alcohols can also serve as a hydrogen bond donor. And in this case, an X atom bearing a lone pair in another functional group comes along and donates electrons toward the hydroxyl hydrogen. Notice now that the alcohol is serving in the opposite role. The partially positive end of the hydroxyl group is oriented toward the partially negative end of some functional group in another molecule. And here we say that the alcohol or the hydroxyl group is acting as a hydrogen bond donor because it's donating the XH bond involved in the interaction. Here we see the orbitals involved in this interaction with the hydrogen bond acceptor in this case as ammonia, NH3, and we can see the large lone pair orbital or N orbital on ammonia serving as the electron donor and the sigma star orbital associated with the OH bond serving as the electron acceptor in this case. Hydrogen bonds have an important effect on the physical properties of alcohols. Alcohols tend to have very high boiling points and high melting points, especially relative to ethers, which lack the hydroxyl group but still contain an oxygen linked to carbon. And this also helps explain the solubility of small alcohols in water. Hydrogen bonding of the alcohol hydroxyl with water molecules is a strong enough intermolecular force that many small molecules, methanol, ethanol, etc., are highly soluble in water. 